so let us come back and do one more question on your electric potential values so till now we have uh, i think uh, one or two questions where i told you whenever it is negative it is your standard reduction potential electro potential negative if it is positive standard oxidation potential done and let us proceed to the next level of uh, understanding this topic so this is basically your ncrt question only let's see how can we solve this question very simple the question is too large enough but it's easy to answer let us read the question they have given me m plus 2 by m okay fine now what happened here from plus 2 state this has gained this metal uh, metal ion has gained electron and it has <coughs> got converted to metal it has already gained now let us see here from m plus 3 to m plus 2 what happened one electron is gained by this and it is uh, it is getting converted to m plus 2 so it isn't it getting reduced yes done now systems now e not values for some metals are as follows they have given us e not value as i said uh, e not values will be given in the exam so they said this metal uh, got reduced and the values of these now let us see for chromium yes it got reduced here also the same <coughs> here uh plus 2 to plus okay same here also same here also same here what are they trying to ask us they trying to ask us stability of fe plus 3 in acid solution as compared to that of cr plus 3 nmn plus 3 okay they were asking us me to compare the stability of fe plus 3 so where is fe plus 3 in this don't get confused between this and this this is fe plus 3 fe plus 3 getting converted to fe plus 2 so they are asking me to see find for fe plus 3 and they're asking me to compare it with cr plus 3 where is cr plus 3 cr plus 3 is here and they're asking me to compare with mn plus 3 so mn plus 3 is here now they want me to see which is highly stable now let's see now when i have to come back to cr plus 3 let's let me compare now from cr plus 3 to cr plus 2 so whenever they're asking you to find about stability directly go into the electronic configuration concept that is easiest way to explain so electronic configuration when i have chromium now this is chromium ground state c3 argon uh, 3d5 4s1 now see chromium from plus 3 if i have to write plus 3 what will happen to this chromium chromium plus 3 means this becomes 4s0 done now how many will be taken out from here it is 3 so what is this 3 now chromium was attained by plus 3 it has attained let us write that from plus 3 what did it attain it has attained d3 t2g set which is stable enough now what is the condition they saying from plus 3 state it has to it is going to accept or accept one more electron yes from 3 it is going to accept one more electron become C, uh, cr plus 2 so to this particular state accepting one electron so if this accepts one electron this becomes what 3d4 this is d3 t2g which is stable now this is going to get converted to d4 which is unstable so will it accept that electron reduction becomes difficult isn't it it's not stable enough so cr plus 3 getting reduced to cr plus 2 is not possible because it becomes unstable so first important thing stability wise this is not possible okay so this my this is my concept for chromium so remember this is not stable so that doesn't undergo or that doesn't prefer undergoing reduction so let me write the order now first thing cr is here. now let us come back to manganese now manganese they said mn3 to mn2 now see mn3 this is your ground state configuration take out 3 this becomes 0 2 are gone this becomes 4 for mn3 this is unstable isn't it so now what happens mn3 it's going to gain one electron to M, forming mn plus 2 so gaining one electron is here so this becomes 3d5 now what happened in manganese first for mn plus 3 it has 3d4 unstable it is now same thing this mn plus 4 okay let us write this is unstable now the for the same mn plus 3 if it's trying to gain one electron d4 becomes what d5 now this is stable so will it prefer yes it will prefer isn't it it will prefer forming that mn plus 2 state so mn let us come back and see iron when i have to see iron iron fe plus 3 this side i have to compare with fe plus 3 in fe plus 3 now this is the ground state configuration when i have to speak about fe plus 3 which is positive value three electrons means this you are going to take zero two from here and one from here so this becomes 3d5 yes now 3d5 value is again stable so let us write what is that fe plus 3 so for fe plus 3 for fe plus 3 you have for first one 
like after taking out you have got 3d5 d5 which is stable now after that they said fe plus 3 to fe plus 2 it has to further lose electrons this becomes d4 d5 to d4 this is unstable isn't it so now let us compare now i have written all the three reasons now let us compare because they have asked me to write find the stability first compare now i have given the reasons now i have to compare both now what is which is stable <coughs> first d uh, cr plus 3 forming stable so chromium is that uh, stable isn't it because it is forming d3 with cr3 now after that mn plus 2 from d4 it is going to d5 highly stable because it has already attained stability reaching d5 so the first preference will be given to manganese greater done now i have to compare uh, uh, between uh, iron and chromium when i have to see iron from stable it is going to unstable from stable it is going to unstable both the conditions are same but where should i see then i have to go to the electrode potential values when I have to see the electrode potential values for iron, it is <coughs> plus uh, 0.8. For chromium, it is minus 0 0.48. 0 0.4, minus 0.4. So, when I have to see the electrode potential value, though it is positive, yes, though it's positive there, it, compared to this, because this condition is not, uh, this one isn't it feasible, because this is unstable. So, this condition is unstable, that is the reason. Compared to chromium, this is more stable okay yes so what do i write if i have to answer the second question the ease with which iron can be oxidized as compared to similar process of either mn or cr so ease i have to first i have reasoned this question then i have to write this answer but in this answer what do they get the ease with which iron can be oxidized i have to write the order so oxidizing property this oxidizing property they're asking me to write the order so when i have to write the order most important thing iron oxidize first then your mn why did i take mn i've already told the configuration then comes chromium now observe in your uh, reducing uh, this in stable form this has formed first stable d5 next comes chromium because t2g set next comes iron so this is your order